Last night, I was playing around with um, Evil Jinx 2 uh, again, and I was just trying to see, you know, what I could get away with, what I could do. I bought a new domain, and so I bought uh, inkedin.live, and I was using that to attack the surface area of LinkedIn. And I'll say in the past when I did this, I had success and was able to do both sides of the, you know, password gathering as well as the actual token harvesting. Um, and, and this time, I actually wasn't, and I was able to get the password but LinkedIn very quickly um, reacted and I was very happy to see that. So I kind of wanted to take a second and make a real quick video about it uh, and just talk through um, what I did and what happened. So uh, real quick, uh, so I was using Evil Jinx 2. I thought I'd bring Mr. Evil Jinx uh, logo uh, into the mix for this, but it's a story of LinkedIn security team success. Um, they, they won on this one. It was very good. Um, so I was hosting my infrastructure in a digital ocean droplet. I was running Kali um, and I used uh, Evil Jinx 2 and I was setting it up. And so even I have to RTFM sometimes. I couldn't remember the command to start my lure. Uh, so it's a concept of a fishlet and a lure, right? The fishlet being the defined payload and the lure that you associate it with it is the after the slash, right? So uh, login.inkedin.live front slash qrc72, whatever, uh, right? In this case, WSFSZKN. That keeps it random so that the payload won't be um, actually found unless you are actually going to it, right? So fuzzing would take quite a while uh, to get that random set of characters. Um, I did finally get it set up and running. Uh, I got my SSL certificate assigned uh, from Let's Encrypt and was able to uh, get my DNS traffic pointed there appropriately and everything ready for the attack. And I went through the attack and I saw, you know, as usual, the, the password uh, part. So if you notice down here, I've, I've blurted out, but the password was gathered, right? And so um, I was able to get that. And then it kind of asked me for my two-factor. I put in my two-factor and then it just hung. Uh, on LinkedIn, apparently, and it hung on this as well. Um, and so I was kind of confused at first, and then I, I got this email really quickly um, from LinkedIn that says, Hi, Matt, to make sure you continue having the best experience possible on LinkedIn, we're regularly monitoring our site. We've recently noticed a potential risk coming from outside LinkedIn, and just to be safe, we've locked your account. Like, that's awesome. Um, you'll need to reset your password in order to unlock your account. Here's how. And basically, you had to go from some device that you'd already been on <clears throat> and reset that account password receive an email so they they, they actually assumed that the the two-factor was compromised as well and so they went ahead and switched to an email methodology and i guess hoped that my email was <laughs> was not compromised um but yeah i was able to change my password and get back to it and i just wanted to take a second to say it was a very good win uh for the um uh, for the LinkedIn security team that they automatedly caught that some new site had spun up. It resembled inkedin.live. I imagine it was some type of evidentiary aspect. They got through the two-factor. They signed in. They tried to harvest. Oh, gosh, this is not good. Let's block this account. And so very good job, LinkedIn team.